Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, today's story is about the PlayStation 5 dev kit and apparently it's running a nearly 13 teraflop GPU. Now, of course, we're gonna have to take this with a big grain of salt as it is a rumor, although it is coming from a very reliable source. Now, the story is coming from WCCFTech.com and like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, we all pretty much know that the PlayStation 5 is coming out in 2020 and Sony recently announced that it will not be in the next 12 months so all signs point to a fall release date. We don't really know too much about the specifications. We know that it's gonna be running a Zen 2 CPU with eight cores, pretty much clocked at 3.2 gigahertz. We also know that it's gonna have a Navi GPU, but we don't know how many teraflops it will be capable of doing. Now, today's leak is coming from Benji Sales, and he is a proven and reliable insider, and he recently tweeted that the PlayStation 5 dev kit is running on a nearly 13 teraflop GPU, but he has since deleted that tweet now of course in this day and age you can delete a tweet but someone will always get a screen cap of it and here as you can see is a screen cap and he goes on to say that it's looking like the PlayStation 5 dev kit is running a nearly 13 teraflop GPU pairing with a Zen 2 CPU and hopefully a ton of ultra fast RAM and it's a beast next-gen games from Naughty Dog, Gorilla, Santa Monica, Insomniac etc are gonna look absurd look what they were able to accomplish on the base PS4 now I have to agree with him here the base ps4 was not the best system now it had a pretty weak cpu at the time the gpu was okay but over the years you know that gpu just has not aged as well although they had this big deficit they were able to crank out the best looking games this generation that's not even debatable sony's exclusives this generation they hit it right out the park now if they were able to have access to a lot more power say 10 to 12 teraflops i can only imagine what those games would look like to be honest with you guys, I think some of those games would start to approach photorealism. Now, the kit that Benji Sales is referring to is, of course, the PlayStation 5 dev kit. Now, if you know anything about developer kits, they actually put more hardware in that system than they do in the regular system to give the developers some headroom. So if the dev kit is at 13 teraflops, I would say that would put the PlayStation 5 around maybe 11 teraflops, possibly 12, but I don't think it's going to launch at 13 teraflops. Like I said before, these dev kits are always more powerful than the retail hardware. Nonetheless, it is looking like the PlayStation 5 is going to be a very capable system. With these specs that we loosely know so far, I can pretty much say that most of the games will deliver 4K 60 frames per second, and that is excellent for console gamers. Now, the Zen 2 architecture, of course, is going to be on 7 nanometer, so these consoles probably will be a lot more smaller than this generation of consoles because of course the fab is not as big anyways I want to know what you guys think about this latest PlayStation 5 news do you think it will be 13 teraflops or do you think it will be 11 teraflops agreeing with my assumption that of course dev kits are more powerful I also want to know your opinions on the Xbox 2 do you think it will be more powerful than the PlayStation 5 and if so how many teraflops do you think that system will be next generation is pretty close we have E3 just around the corner and we also have Computex coming later on this month so we're going to get a lot more details about Navi we're going to get a lot more details about Zen 2 so I'm just really excited anyways just leave your comments down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one